Small resin spills on the printer exterior are harmless and can occur during normal use. More extensive resin spills that reach inside the printer may require additional cleaning and support to assess and reduce potential damage. Resin inside the printer may contaminate or erode critical components. Use this guide to clean a resin spill on a Form 3. If this video helps you solve your printer's issue, please like the video. And thanks for watching. First, if a print is in progress, abort the print on the Form 3 touchscreen. Clean the resin spill as soon as possible. If cleaning the resin spill immediately is not possible, keep the orange cover closed to prevent ambient light from curing the resin. Disconnect the power cable from the printer. Remove the build platform first to avoid dripping resin into the printer cavity. Wipe off any resin on the build platform surface. Ambient light can cure liquid resin left on the metal plate, which can cause adhesion issues. Remove the resin cartridge and close the vent cap. Remove the resin tank, place it in its case, and cover it. Make sure the tank is not leaking and set it aside. Liquid resin on the outside of the printer can make the printer difficult to use or contaminate other work surfaces. This section will walk you through how to clean resin on the outside of your printer, if applicable. Inspect both the inside and outside of the orange cover. Clean any liquid resin using paper towels dampened with soap and water. Dab the shell of the printer with paper towels to absorb liquid resin. Avoid smearing resin across the surface. If resin has cured on the surface of the shell, scrape off the cured resin using a plastic spatula. A metal spatula may scratch the shell. Clean any remaining resin off of external surfaces with soap and water. Inspect the USB port, Ethernet port, and power jack on the back of the printer for resin contamination. If needed, clean the contacts inside the port or power jack using cotton swabs and a small amount of isopropyl alcohol or IPA. Open the printer cover to inspect the various components under the cover. Dab the tank carrier and top shell with paper towels to absorb liquid resin. Avoid smearing resin across the surface. Clean the surfaces with soap and water. If resin has spilled into the printer cavity, check out our video for cleaning an extensive resin spill. Clean any resin on the tank spring fingers using cotton swabs dampened with soapy water. Resin contamination on spring fingers may cause tank detection issues. Inspect the level sense board for resin contamination, which can affect the ability of the Form 3 to sense resin levels in the tank. Clean any resin from the level sense board using a paper towel dampened with IPA. The Z-axis assembly contains the motor and lead screw that drive the build platform carriage. They must be clean for the build platform to move smoothly and accurately. The Z-axis also contains a drip catcher which can help prevent or mitigate any future resin spills. Clean any droplets on the Z-tower with a paper towel or a cotton swab dampened with soapy water. Shine a flashlight on the drip catcher in the base of the tower and visually inspect it for spilled resin. Remove pooled resin using a syringe and dispose using the proper procedures for liquid resin. Soak up any remaining resin with a paper towel. Clean any final traces of resin with soapy water and a clean paper towel. Shine a flashlight down the lead screw and inspect the Z motor inside the bottom of the tower to determine whether resin has seeped down the lead screw and into the bearings. If resin has seeped into the bearings or motor, Follow all of the steps in our video for cleaning an extensive resin spill. If there is resin on the lead screw, but the Z motor itself is clean, remove the resin on the lead screw with a paper towel or cotton swab and a small amount of IPA. If the lead screw is cleaned with IPA, lubricate the lead screw with lithium grease before printing again to prevent build platform movement issues. Resin spills are sometimes caused by a failed print. Inspect the resin tank using the tank tool to check for any failed prints or damage to the tank. Remove any failed prints using the tank tool and filter the resin. Dispose of the tank if there is significant wear or damage to the flexible film, or if resin leaks through cracks in the tank. Liquid resin on the rollers and optical window will contaminate the bottom of the resin tank and affect the quality of subsequent prints. 
If resin gets into the LPU, the printer's optical components will be damaged and require replacement. With the printer plugged in and powered on, tap the wrench icon to access the setting screen, then tap Maintenance and Motor Moves. The Motor Move screen appears. Tap and hold left to move the LPU housing to the middle of the printer cavity. Disconnect the power cable before continuing with maintenance. Check for any resin on the roller holder, the laser window in the roller holder, or the rollers themselves. If any liquid resin is present, clean the optical window using Formlab's instructions. Check out our video for cleaning the Form 3 optical window to learn more. Do not touch the rollers with your bare hands. Contaminants on the rollers can transfer to the bottom of the resin tank, negatively impacting print quality. Clean any resin in the area of the LPU housing or on the printer with paper towels. Dampen the paper towels with isopropyl alcohol if necessary to fully remove the resin. If you can see resin inside the LPU through the laser window, check out our video for cleaning an extensive resin spill. Always dispose of resin and any supplies contaminated with it according to the safety data sheets. Put the container of soapy water and any soiled paper towels or swabs in a window or other sunny place so that the resin cures in ambient light. Once the resin cures, it can be disposed of with regular household waste. Allow all components to dry completely before reconnecting the printer to power. While resin spills occur for a variety of reasons, one of the most common reasons are failed prints in the resin tank. When a print fails, the entire print or part of the print may fall into the resin tank. Check out our video for removing debris. The mixer is designed to detect such a failure and pause the printer, but some resin may still be spilled. To avoid future print failures, exercise Form 3 best practices such as designing models for printability, using proper model orientation and adequate supports, and using unexpired resin that is free from debris and contaminants. Did this video help you get printing again? If so, please leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Also leave a comment telling us what videos you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.